DJ, quick waiting. All you week I was waiting for that beat. Yes. <laughs> I feel like you're going to throw out your neck muscles. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're doing. It's like a night at the Roxbury kind of thing. <laughs> we were stretching before the show. We were. we were. All we're right, good. everybody. Can I get this train back on the track? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. Let's try. Let's do this. We're going to start off Pop News this morning with actress Charlize Theron. She seems to have it all, right? An Oscar, a Golden Globe. She's also a film producer, a mother to two. But apparently there's at least one more thing she wants. Promoting her upcoming romantic comedy, Long Shot, the 43-year-old opened up, up about her own love life, telling E.T. she is, quote, shockingly available, and she says someone needs to step up and ask her out. Theron's last serious relationship was with actor and director Sean Penn. They were engaged but broke it off in 2015. No surprise, Twitter has now exploded yeah. with a long list of volunteers. I mean, no, 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 I don't have her. <laughs> All my friends are blowing me up now thinking I got her number. I don't have her number. Now. I find this so hard to believe. I just really do. Yeah, yeah maybe people are too intimidated. To okay, that I can see. That. But now that she's I got men and women on Twitter yeah. volunteering yeah. to, uh, to Lots go ahead of and take one for the team there. Um, superheroes, by the way, took over Disney's California Adventure Park for a day. The stars of the Avengers Endgame, including Iron Man Robert Downey Jr., Thor, Chris Hemsworth, Black Widow Scarlett Johansson, and the newest edition, Captain Marvel, Brie Larson. The superstars were helping to launch Avengers Universe Unites, a charity that helps support Disney's team of heroes in delivering comfort and inspiration to seriously ill children around the world. The team was celebrating Disney chairman and CEO Bob Iger's announcement of a $1 million donation benefiting children's hospitals across the country and an additional $4 million in total from the Lego Group, Hasbro, Funko, and Amazon. So Disney is, of course, is a parent company of ABC, but what a great cause. You know, Rob is fuming over here because, you know, he considers himself a little bit of a hero. Saving uh, lives daily. I think it was weather warning. The invitation was in the mail. It must have There's got lost. Millions yeah. of heroes across America. Uh, You're our hero, Rob. Mick Jagger, yes. by the way, has a message for fans out there. <laughs> Following his recent medical treatment, the Rolling Stones frontman writes on Twitter, Thank you, everyone, for all your messages of support. I'm feeling much better now and on the mend. And also a huge thank you to all the hospital staff for doing a superb job. You might remember late last month, the Stones announced they would be postponing their upcoming tour for Jagger's health reasons. His public says the singer is expected to make a complete recovery and get back on stage as soon as possible. So, of course, fans were very upset when they had to postpone the tour, but they said we'll be back. Hold on to those tickets. They'll be uh, valuable again once they go back on tour. So, good hope for fans. He's a giant and a genius, yep. and we're wishing him the best. Absolutely. And you're a genius for keeping this train on the track. Yeah. I, it's <laughs> difficult. Some days it's harder than others. Today, Great job. Woo. Great job. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.